Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose n is an integer where n is greater than 1 and n is not prime. Then, 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime. Now, our definition of a prime number will be as follows. Suppose n is an integer and n is greater than 1. We say n is prime if the only positive divisors of n are 1 and n. Now, a result that follows from this definition is the following. Suppose n is an integer and n is greater than 1. Then n is not prime if and only if there exist integers a and b such that n is equal to a times b. 1 is less than a is less than n, and 1 is less than b is less than n. Now, there are some other preliminary results we're going to be using in proving this theorem. One of them is the following. Suppose a is a real number greater than 1, and m and n are positive integers. If m is less than n, then a to the power of m is less than a to the power of n. Here's another preliminary result we're going to use in proving this theorem. Suppose a and b are integers and n is a positive integer. Then a minus b is a divisor of a to the power of n minus b to the power of n. So now, let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves an integer n, which is greater than 1 and not prime. The whole goal is to show that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime. Now to start, these three facts tell us that we can apply lemma 1. If we take capital N to be n, then since n is not prime, we have that there are integers a and b such that n is equal to a times b, 1 is less than a is less than n, and 1 is less than b is less than n. Now we're going to apply lemma 2. If we take capital A to be 2, well then, since 1 is less than b, this tells us that 2 to the power of 1 is less than 2 to the power of b. Similarly, since b is less than n, we have that 2 to the power of b is less than 2 to the power of n. So overall, 2 to the power of 1 is less than 2 to the power of b is less than 2 to the power of n. And then, let's subtract 1 on all three sides of this inequality. And we know that 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. Now remember, the whole goal is to show that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime. Now, to show that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime, we're going to look at the definition of a prime number. Taking capital N to be 2 to the n minus 1, we're going to show that it is not the case that the only positive divisors of 2 to the n minus 1 are 1 and 2 to the n minus 1. In other words, we're going to find a positive divisor of 2 to the n minus 1 that is neither 1 nor 2 to the n minus 1. Well, our claim is that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is a positive divisor of 2 to the power of n minus 1, which is not equal to 1 nor 2 to the power of n minus 1. Well, we know that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is positive since it's greater than 1, and we know that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is not equal to 1 or 2 to the power of n minus 1, so all that's left to show is that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is a divisor of 2 to the power of n minus 1. If we can show that, then we have by definition that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime. Now to show that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is a divisor of 2 to the power of n minus 1, we can apply lemma 3. Let's take capital A to be 2 to the power of b, capital B to be 1, and capital N to be A. If 
If we do that, then we have that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is a divisor of 2 to the power of b to the power of a minus 1 to the power of a. But then we can simplify this. We know from our rules for exponents that 2 to the power of b to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of a times b. And 1 to the power of a is equal to 1. But then we know that a times b is equal to n. So this tells us that 2 to the power of b minus 1 is a divisor of 2 to the power of n minus 1. And that's exactly what we wanted to show, to show that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.